Hey there Chicka Pots, how we doing, how we feeling? Happy Monday, today is the first day of October, so happy Halloween month. I'm, so, I'm sorry I have the TV on, but this is gonna be very quick, so we're just gonna get through it, okay? I just wanted to actually come on and do an OOTD for you all today, because I kinda like what I have on. Y'all know I do some weird things with my outfits sometimes, and this is one of those outfits that you either will like or you will hate but yeah so anyway let me just kind of show you what i've got on today first of all uh you guys remember this top that or jacket i should say it is freak people i bought it like i want to say was it two years ago i think well i don't know time goes by so fast but i've had it a while i bought it right before i went home on vacation one of my trips home and i hadn't really wanted that much because sometimes these sleeve things get in my way if I'm like, like if I try to wear it to work, but today I was just like, I want to wear it and I'm just going to do it. So I did it and I enjoyed having it on today. So I do love this. Like I said, it is by free people and it's, I got the flowness going on. And then this is my little tankini thing that I got from, I got one from Marshalls and two from uh, TJ Maxx. I got the white, the black and the, and the peachy color one. So yeah, so I have that on. So I put the little jacket on because obviously I didn't want to be walking around work exposing myself. So I put that on, the jacket on with this and I just thought it was cute. Now let me move this camera on down so you can see the bottom half of me. So these jeans are my free people jeans that I got, like I don't know when I got them, but not that long ago I guess. But these are the ones that are like oversized and I told you guys that I love them so much because they were kind of big and baggy aren't they the cutest thing ever like i don't know i just like them because they look like i'm wearing like man jeans or something but that's what i like about them and i the last time i wore them i tucked them into my shirt but this time i decided i was just gonna go big and blousy like kind of like all over so i've just got kind of like that you know i'm just comfortable look and i actually really really like it so let me show you guys the bottom half of these i don't know how well you can see the bottom half of the jeans hopefully you can but yeah, so they, they're like, I don't know, past boot cut, because this is more than boot cut. They're almost wide bag. But I just like them so much. I just think they're just so cute like this. And then I've got on my coat shoes. This is the second day I've worn these. I had these on last night too, but I don't know, they're just, they're comfortable right now. But yeah, so that's my OOTD for today. And I might do this all week, just kind of show you guys my OOT real quick. But Anywho, I am going to go ahead and get off now because I need to edit tomorrow's video so it'll be ready to blast for you guys. Well, not tomorrow, but Wednesday. But I may have one that I might put up tomorrow. We'll see. All right, peace out. Hey there, Chicka Pies. How we doing? How we feeling? So today is Tuesday, and I thought I'd do a very quick outfit of the day again for you. I thought maybe I'll do this all week and include this in Friday's vlog. So let me go ahead and get started. So this is my skull scarf that I've had forever. I don't know if I've, you guys remember this, but I've shown this in videos, but they were like a long time ago videos. But yeah, so I decided to throw that on today. It's October, and so, you know, not that that's the only time I can wear the scarf, but you know. And then this little, uh, I wouldn't say t-shirt, but that's not what I'm trying to say. Flannel looking shirt, no? Is that what it's called? What are these things called? What's the proper name? But I saw this at TJ Maxx yesterday for $7.99 and I had a store credit for $7.99 so I did it even swap so that was pretty awesome so I have that on and let me just go ahead and see. I'm wearing my express boyfriend jeans which are a little big I must say like they are a little bigger than like they're supposed to be but I actually kind of like the fact that they're big like this because like I don't know they just I feel like they fit me better if that makes any sense like they look more cool and then I have on my all those little black flats that I got. Yeah, so anyway, that is my OOTD. <laughs> my OOTD for today. And I'll see you guys on Wednesday. I gotta wash my hair tonight and dye my hair. So, yeah, it's really, really gray. And I, I can't, I was gonna try to make it till I go do my hair over, but that's not gonna happen. So, anyhow, I will. Hey there, Chicka Pies. How we doing? How we feeling? It is pretty late it's actually like nine o'clock at night and today is wednesday by the way it's wednesday october 3rd and i just came from church so i'm trying to edit i'm gonna try to edit this video and get it up for friday wish me luck y'all because i'm very tired but i wanted to do my ootd real quick for y'all because i've been kind of like enjoying doing this this week now mind you it's the end of the day 
and I'm wrinkled, okay? So, you know, let's just go ahead and put that out there. But I do want to show you this outfit because I really, really like it. So, well, so I have on a scarf today. I hadn't worn a scarf in a while. Well, actually, I wore one yesterday, but I hadn't worn that. Yes, I hadn't worn that a scarf in a while before then. And then this little top right here, I actually got this from Marshalls yesterday. I took back a couple of the things that I had bought when I was going to California that one of the tops I actually tried on while I was there and was going to wear it and it was just I didn't realize that I had the top on backwards initially when I tried it on and then when I put it on the right way I didn't like it as much so I was kind of like nah so I took it back and so I was able to get this cute little top and I love it so much because it's super long okay look at that see okay let's fix it and it's super, super long, and I like that about it. So, yeah, it's just one of those. It's kind of like a doctor's uh, smock. You know I have such a weird taste in clothing sometimes. But let me set the phone down because I see that my change battery light is flashing. Really quick, I have on a pair of dark brown leggings that these are by um, Vince Camino. And so I really, really like these. These are my Vince Camino leggings and then my Free People top. By the way, I don't know if I said Free People, but this top is by Free People. And then I have on my little brown boots, which I don't remember what brand these are, but I showed you guys these last winter when I got these. I hauled these last winter and they're super, super comfortable. So that is like how I put together my little OOTZ today. I really wish I could have shown it to you when I wasn't all wrinkled, but you know. Life is just that, y'all. Y'all, I just, I just kind of like y'all to see the style of things so much. I'm not trying to be Miss Prim and Proper, but before my battery dies, I do want to show you guys what I'm having for dinner tonight because it looks like it's the bomb.com. So y'all know that I'm doing the low carb thing, and today I decided to pick me up some no car or low carb. Um, tortillas because I was kind of like feeling like I wanted a breakfast taco in the morning but I just discovered I didn't have any eggs once I got home so I'm not having a breakfast taco in the morning and I typically would probably not have this at night because you guys know in the evenings after five I try to really do no carbs whatsoever or like you know if anything like one carb um, but unfortunately that's not going to happen tonight I wanted to I wanted this taco so I'm going to enjoy this taco but I want to show it to you guys really quick Look at that. Is that not good? This is a perfect low carb meal. I've got, uh, of course, the tortilla, which this is six grams of carbs. And then I've got my shrimp, no carbs. And then I've got spinach, no carbs. And I've got salsa. I'm not sure what little bit of salsa on there. It's probably not enough carbs to scream about. And then, uh, I don't know what kind of cheese I have on there, but there's some cheese on there too. And you know, cheese has no carbs either. So this is going to be a very, very healthy meal tonight. Of course, I, like I said, I do have the six carbs involved. But Hey there, Chica Pies. How we doing? How we feeling? Happy Thursday, the beginning of my weekend vlog. So I thought I would come on real quick and show you guys my OOTD before I get in the car. And I think I am going to, I was kind of debating on vlogging or not in the car. And I think I'm going to because I like chatting. I hadn't chatted with you guys all week. So, yeah. So, anyway, I'm going to show you guys this cute little outfit. This is a, oh, I just remembered. Oh, my God. I still have the tag on. Oh, my God. That would have been horrible. I'm actually getting ready to step out with my friend for a little bit just to say, hey, what's up? It's Thursday night. You know, I do my Thursday night girl outing. Um, yeah. So, anyway, I am going to show you guys my OOTD. Okay, so this is a little romper that I picked up at JCPenney's. It was all but $8.97. I thought, oh my gosh, I have to have this. I think it's so cute. And like I said, I was about to leave here with my tag on. That would have been disastrous. Okay, no, I'm sorry, it was $10.79. That's the price tag there. It was $10.79. And it is such a cute little outfit. It's, I showed you guys in my haul when I was showing you guys my stuff before I went on my trip. And it's a size small. It fits really good. I have on my little Forever 21 booties. I ended up putting them on with a little bit of a thicker sock than the little booty socks that I, I wore with them, I think, the last time. I don't know, I think these have stretched a little bit, but I needed to feel like my feet weren't gonna slide around in them. So, yeah, so I thought it has little pockets. I just thought this would be a cute little outfit, and I wanted to have a chance to wear this before the temperature gets a little bit crazy. So. 
and I, this button right here y'all okay so y'all know i wear push-up bras because i don't have real boobs um i mean i have boobs but you know that's they're small and all my bras i have this little situation thing going on here to where they pucker so i think it's okay like i hope i'm not showing too much cleavage like i'm not like i'm not like a boob person or anything like i seriously am not like i put on a push-up bra just so my clothes will fit better <laughs> but i hope it doesn't look like i'm like flaunting too much i don't think it does what do you guys think I hope not. Hopefully not. Because that's not my intent. Like, I'm not trying to do all that. But I am trying to be cute. <laughs> yeah. I like my legs. Y'all know my legs are my strong point. I don't be trying to show my girls because, yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get in the car now. And I think I'm going to go ahead and take the phone with me. Oh, the phone. Of course I'm taking my phone. I'm going to go ahead and take the camera with me. I was going to leave you guys at home. But I might want to chat with you guys a little bit. And I'm rocking my out loud lipstick. All right. So, I'm in the car and... I oh sometimes the lighting just looks so good and then other times it just looks so jacked up I'm like man like that natural lighting stuff is serious I have got to get my Halloween decorations out like seriously y'all Saturday I gotta do it like I gotta put my um my fall stuff out and my my Halloween stuff I did my um I did a couple pumpkins inside my house and I think they just look so cute but I do want to do some stuff outside I want to, for some reason this year, as much as I want to do some things, I'm like not in the mood. Like I'm in the mood, but I'm not in the mood. Does that make any sense? Like I love decorating for holidays and for some reason this year I'm feeling like I'm not ready for the holidays. Like I think my, I don't know, my inner feeling or I don't know how to describe it, but anyway whatever I'll get over it so but yeah I wanted to have a chance to wear this outfit before the the temperature changes like I know next week they're saying we're gonna have a cold front which for San Antonio y'all a cold front is really not anything to get too excited about because when they say cold front well actually I think for us it's actually gonna be kind of nice because I think our nights are supposed to be like in the 50s and then our high in the day is supposed to be like 70 and so that's gonna be some pretty good temperature. That's gonna feel pretty good. So, yeah. So anyhow, I am little kiddos out there playing. I love to see kids play outside. You know, like enjoying the outdoors instead of just cooped around. I got y'all at a slant, I'm so sorry. The traffic is not real bad, so I'm sneaking and vlogging a little bit on the highway. I mean, like there's literally hardly no cars out here, so that's good so I'm just gonna vlog for a few minutes and you know just kind of fill you guys in on what's going on calm down calm down my hair is off but my scalp is itching I washed my hair Tuesday night because the gray was real y'all and I was like uh -uh, I can't go out on a Thursday night with some gray roots showing so the roots had to go but I'm getting my hair done on, on next Friday a week from tomorrow so I'm kind of like well that kind of sucks because like my hair you know like I'm like but I don't know maybe I won't have to dye it again next week I'll have to wait and do it later maybe so well, I mean because I just dyed it so I should be okay so we'll see I think I'll be good for next hey there chica pies how we doing how we feeling and yes i got the little circle i got i guess i need to i think you can take your camera and have your lens cleaned or something i don't know i need to figure that out but um yeah so i need to oh god it's hot in here um i need to figure that out i guess I'm putting on my ray-bans again i've been wearing my ray-bans a lot instead of reaching in my purse and grabbing my other um glasses out of there but yeah i don't know why but I do really like these ray bands. I just hate that they get really big. And I think I've kind of figured out something, which I guess I probably should know this. Uh, but I, you know, like I guess from, you know, the heat in Texas, like I guess it gets so strong or intense. I mean, it makes sense that that's what makes my glasses sometimes be looser than other times. Because like some days I'll put these on. Like the other day I hadn't worn them in forever and we'd had some cool days. I put them on and they fit fine. 
and then like maybe two days later I put them on and they literally just like almost fell off my face so I was like it must really be the heat that makes them stretch or something I don't know I mean I don't quite get it but I guess I gotta get it you know what I mean but anyway so yes y'all guess what it's Friday and I am on my way home the time is like 3 10 and I'm making my way to the gas station because the girl got two notches before empty tank because I really should have gotten gas yesterday but girl was like trying to get home so she get changed and get out on the town but anyway had a good time and I am actually gonna go home and I'm going to chill for a little bit I think I might take myself a little nappy poo <laughs> I'm really hungry too oh man I was gonna darn it I was gonna bring my chili oh I'm not going back I was gonna bring my chili with me I have found this little pack of um, chili for my hot dogs that had very little carbs in it like it was a good match like you know between the carbs and the fiber and so I was gonna bring that home because I was like girl gonna have herself some darn um, hot dogs this weekend y'all know I love myself look at that thing oh my god it's like worse like it's like right in my eyes like seriously people oh my gracious I do not like this at all like how can I make it move? I guess by moving the oh my gosh like okay this is way worse okay that really bothers me I gotta get that fixed because I I feel like like it had disappeared or like I don't know like what this I mean I, I don't know if I'm thinking it's disappeared or it's because the sunlight's not hitting in the right spot but I need to get this fixed because I don't like that and I don't want I mean I don't know I just don't like it Ugh, the things we go through people well I should say the things I go through trying to get up a YouTube video because I guess because you know I'm not like the, the best of the best when it comes to this kind of stuff so I just be trying to figure it all out and I be struggling sometimes I mean YouTube is definitely a struggle for me on any given day to try to produce something halfway decent y'all telling you hey there chica pies how we doing how we feeling so it is a Friday evening now and it's actually like seven o'clock in the evening and I thought I'd come on real quick and show you how I turn my daytime look into a nighttime look you guys have seen my little dress from free people that I got um, and I showed you all when I was in California and this is what I wore to work today as a dress but now I'm gonna show you what it looks like when I convert it with leggings so and by the way I did go a little bit crazy with the look today I kind of like threw in some orange and some green there to match my little dress Dress, get up I like I like I like my nails are toe up so we won't discuss that but hopefully nobody's gonna be looking because I don't have time to change them I'll do that in the morning because I'm gonna be hanging out with Terry tomorrow so anyway let me just show you my OOTD as you all know this is a dress slash a shirt and so or top and so I decided for this evening I would go ahead and throw my leather leggings with it and these are faux leather and these are the Spanx ones I do have an outfit that I'm going to show you guys and we'll talk about in the video where I found some on Amazon and I'll totally discuss that with you all later but yeah so um, these are size small and um, they fit really really good they hold the gut in you know Spanx are famous for holding the gut in so I really like wearing my Spanx with uh, my Spanx for my leggings uh, and so then I've got on my little boots that I kind of cleaned up a little bit for this, the fall I haven't really got into doing all my boots yet but getting them all polished up for the season but yeah so that's pretty much my OOTD so I do like this this way as well I like being able to have a daytime outfit that I can turn into nighttime as well um, you know or I can just wear this daytime it doesn't really matter if I wore it daytime I would probably do just regular leggings versus you know the faux leather leggings but then again I don't know it depends on where I'm going in the daytime y'all know me girl don't have no there's no rules where I live you know what I mean so anyhow I'm gonna go ahead and hop in the car I'm headed out to eat and a little dancing this evening so I'll see you guys a little later 
Good morning, Chicka Pies. How we doing? How we feeling? Today is Saturday, October the 6th, and I am about to have myself some breakfast. I've got a full day ahead of me, so I thought I better get some food in me. And you all know I like to mix things up sometimes, and I'm eating leftover Chinese food with a uh, egg on the top. <laughs> it's beef and um, black pepper, black pepper. It's pepper steak, and um, yeah, so I just wanted to make my own little twist over it, and so I'm about to sit down and indulge. I think it's going to be a good combo. I do eat weird sometimes, in case I didn't tell y'all that. Hey there, Chica Pies. How we doing? How we feeling? I am here with Terry. Where's the up part? Where are we? And we're lost. <laughs> but y'all know me. I always get lost. And that's something that happens to me and Terry all the time. We take scenic routes to get to places. Like, she asked me a question. I told her south, but I meant to say north, so I got us lost. So now we're trying to get turned around and get back up on the highway. Nissan, baby, it's okay. If you hear the children crying in the background, or shall I say child, because that child's being good over there. <gasps> What's the matter? Quit. Do you want to go? Feet. Turn left onto the I-35, US-281. Because if you don't want to go and have fun today, we, will, we can take you back home. Ramp, then merge onto I-37 North. We're taking the babies to Bark Fest. That's where we're going today, right? Yeah. Yeah, Bark Fest. And Bark the in the park. Is Girl, can your you pants. No, we didn't go up there. Yeah. No, I was thinking I had to go further down. <laughs> <laughs> See, we're almost going. That was happening been her fault not mine because she was getting to go the wrong way again oh <laughs> but yeah so we're getting to go to bark what did you call? bark in the park bark in the park and the baby's got their little costumes which i'll be showing you guys today so see today's gonna be a fun vlog i'm actually doing something today take the stadium drive exit towards st mary's street she wrecks we're gonna racing y'all she's driving like a bat out of <laughs> But yeah, so we're going to have fun with the babies today. They're excited about going. Their costumes are so cute. They're going to look like little angels slash devils. Because Misan, she, he can be a little handful sometimes. Nah, he's precious. He's just spoiled. Very spoiled. Very, very spoiled. Huh? So I think I just went the wrong way. No, because there should be an exit right over here. Like coming up. See, said where it says St. Mary's? That, that way, okay. yeah, and then it take you can once I think once the you take the exit, yeah, the it's gonna, yeah, the yeah. airport's fine, threw me off, yeah, <laughs> we got it. <laughs> Y'all like my little head gear? I put on my little bandana on my head, and then I got my little Halloween scarf on. I got this from Target, I think I showed this to y'all. Did I show this to y'all? I got this from Target, it was in the three dollar spot, so. And it actually fits perfect, like as far as like it loops around twice and it just, it works out really good. And Terry's got all her little In a quarter mile, Halloween. take the stadium drive exit towards St. Mary Street. I say Halloween, it's a fall t-shirt, which I actually kind of like, I might get myself one of those. It was $5 at Walmart, she said. And it's really cute. She doesn't think she looks pretty today. I told her she looked pretty, but she was like, I need to, I, what am I going to wear? I don't know what I'm going to wear. And then she puts this on and she looks fine. I tell you, we women sometimes, we are our own worst enemy. Because <laughs> we be struggling trying to, we be trying to look cute, but then we don't always feel like we look cute. Because, you know, like right now, I am taking a risk because I have on leggings with a, a tank top, as you can it's see. 1,000 feet, turn right onto North St. Mary Street. And that is, turn right onto North St. Mary Street. She's showing a bum bum. But, I wanted to wear this and I didn't have a t-shirt or a tank top that was long enough to cover my whole bum bum so some of my bum bum is gonna all right so the babies are all dressed now in their little Halloween get-ups we get them aren't they precious and she's got them in their little stroller yes you guys look so pretty Nana smile can you smile Coco Precious, precious, precious. Oh my goodness, look at that bulldog. <laughs> oh my goodness. They're such, 
I mean, they just look like beasts, you know? <laughs> Are you guys excited? Are y'all excited? All right, so we are here at the um, at the dog bark in the park. In the park, <laughs> I keep wanting to say bark fest. I don't know why, but I want to call it bark fest. But we're at uh, bark, bark in the in park. The park. <laughs> See, I was still getting ready to mess it up, and there's so many little cute babies around. So I'll try to get some footage of some of the babies. There's going to be a Halloween contest. There's just all kinds of things going on for the little kids little four-legged four -legged kids that is and I don't know they probably have some pretty fun stuff for some of these two-legged kids that's walking around here too because like that's a kid right there like a kid at heart and so I'm excited I think it's gonna be fun today oh that bulldog is just so cute <laughs> they just look like they, like they could just I don't know <laughs> they're just so big and thick Oh my goodness, this is going to be fun. I can feel it. I get so excited about things like this. I don't know why, but I do. So let me turn the camera around so you guys can see. Well, they got it looking cute. The, all the balloons. That's a lot of balloons they used, didn't it? Yeah. <laughs> that was work. You're outside in the heat. You're supposed to look that way. Hi, I am here with, what's your name? Crystal. Crystal. Crystal's going to tell you a little bit about her store and about what they represent. And so all of my followers, please go by and check her out. Hey guys, I'm Kate with K9 Cafe. We're located right off of uh, Babcock and Hamilton Hall for Eckert area, right in the medical center. Um, we serve all sizes of dogs, little to giant. We've got all the sport team jerseys, Halloween costumes are out. We do Christmas. Um, all of different holidays. We've got sweaters for winter, we've got dresses, panties, collars, anything you can think of, we've got it. We also do a self-serve dog wash. We have a grooming salon inside our store. Uh, we do bath specials on Thursdays and uh, grooming specials on Tuesdays. So y'all come out and see us. We hope to see y'all soon. 
October 7th and I am having a very lazy day I'm actually being very productive on the YouTube side but a lazy day as far as getting some clothes on and becoming a real person for the day but I did want to show you all this um, and tell you all something that I'm doing right now I started it yesterday this was recommended to me from a really good friend of mine Darlat she said that several people she has come in contact with have tried this and they all had great things to say about it. This is a detox um, okay. type of a thing. I don't know what you really want to call it, but um, it is definitely a detox. It's a seven to ten day detox. It costs twenty four ninety nine, and I bought it at Gen C uh, or I bought it at the local GNC. It's twenty four ninety nine, and I purchased this at the local GNC, actually the one right up the street from my house. And I started taking this yesterday. It says on here to take anywhere between three and five pills for seven to 10 days. I have been doing the max on the weekends of seven. And I think for the weekday, I'm going to perhaps maybe only do about three or four. I haven't decided yet. I'm still kind of going over that in my head, but uh, it's definitely something that's going to help you have regular bowel movements, if you will. So yes, I said that out loud. I was kind of contemplating how I was going to describe this. And yeah, so um, many of you may or may not know, I have always been a person that I always say I'm just not a regular person when it comes to that. And so I kind of wanted to detox my body and just kind of get all that icky stuff out of my system. And I thought, hey, you know what? I'm going to try this and see what this is all about. So I did just start this yesterday and I will say that it has worked and not in a bad way, but it's just worked, you know, not in a way where you feel uncomfortable, you're scared to leave your home or anything like that. I've just had a normal <clears throat> BM which was awesome so yeah i've had a couple of those per day which is awesome and so yeah so anyway i will keep you guys informed if this is something that you're interested in feel free to comment below and ask me if any questions that i may or may not have the answers to as i am just in the early stages of trying this out but i definitely will give you my opinion as things arrive so anyhow that's what i got going on right now i am kind of like just chilling at the house right now i've got on the tv i've got uh life uh, not lifetime i've got the hallmark channel as you can see i've been doing my nails i have a new color on my nails right now got my setup over there going for my videos that i've been working on this morning getting my week going yeah, so anyway, I actually kind of think that I'm going to go ahead and have a chill moment today and end this vlog a little bit early for a Sunday because I really just want to chill and relax a little bit. So yeah, so I think I decided that I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog pretty early today um, and just kind of get, I, I really, so as you can see, it's been a lazy day. I have taken a shower though. My body is clean, I promise you. I just look like this, like, you know, I just look like this. But I was out all day yesterday. I'm trying to do laundry. I'm tired because I kind of stayed up late last night watching a movie. So before I go, I thought I'd show you all this nail polish that I have on my nails. It's by the KL brand. And this is the Cha 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 which I think is really pretty. It looks like a festive fall color. That's what it looks like on my nails. Now I didn't change my toes, so I'm kind of bummed out that I didn't do that, but I just didn't really feel like getting myself all invested in that. So yeah, so maybe I'll just put a coat of this over on my toes and just kind of see if it manipulates the color just a little bit. Hmm, not real sure, but anywho, I am going to go ahead and end this vlog today. Like you can see, there's not much happening here. Just a bunch of laundry and stuff like that. And you guys don't need to see me do that. I, can't, I think I've given you a lot to see. Yesterday's vlog was, hopefully when I get to editing it, it will be footage that I can actually use because I was outside where there was music playing. So I'm going to experiment, that is, with this Filmora and see if I can't figure out how to fall over. 
hopefully I can get rid of some of that background noise and maybe get rid of the music in the background. I don't know if I know how to do that or if it's possible, but I am definitely going to try. So yeah, and I've got Wednesday's video going. Um, it's actually being created right now. And so that's going to be ready to go and go live for you all on Wednesday. And that's been kind of like my goal is I want to try to have things in the pipeline so that I don't have to be just, you know, waiting and trying to get that video ready all at the last minute. And I do plan to try to have my grandson next weekend. So I want to get a couple things. I already got my PJs and coffee time video done for next Sunday. So I do want to see if I can't um, get a couple other things put together. Maybe I'll do one more video before I go to bed tonight. I'm not real sure because I really don't feel like I started putting on foundation and then I was like oh, I don't want to do anything <laughs> so I kind of stopped like I, I literally like I probably I don't even know what I look like y'all honestly if I look like I have like a two-tone face that is because I literally started putting on my foundation and I stopped like midstream so <clears throat> yeah what do I look like I don't know let's see hopefully not too bad but anyway that is basically what my day is like today it's just one of those I'm doing some stuff here in the house I'm doing YouTube stuff so it's not a lot to show you guys so I'm gonna go ahead and say goodbye and I keep saying that and then I don't end so anyway I will chat with you guys later thank you guys so much for hanging out with me on this long week slash weekend because I did start this vlog uh, what day of the week I did I don't remember but I started it kind of early on in the week just showing you some old TDs and then you know so it's it should be a very long vlog so anyway I'm going to go ahead and end right now and I will chat with you guys at a later time Thank you.